Hello everybody, this is En Route, and today I have a message for you. We are a country of leaders, and we are a country of freedom, and we are the country of greatness, and while not perfect, we have the power in our hands to make all the changes that we want to make. We don't have to continue society in the way that it is going, and we don't have to follow the same rules or the same systems that we have been following that continue to become more of a depletion to our resources rather than a symbiotic flow of them. And I wanted to come out and talk about, um, you know, talk about that specifically talk about being a pioneer, talk about being American and what American, what being American means. And it means freedom, you know? And firstly, if you did get a chance to watch my uh, presidential speech, I just want to say thank you. I know it was like really long. There was a lot in it. It was very meaty, but um, I wanted to get as many points as possible and there's no way that you could possibly deal with or point at every issue that happens uh, it, or is happening I just pointed out the most pressing ones um, that I can see and um, you know it is our job as Americans to be vocal about where they see these issues um, and not be complacent just because someone you like got elected doesn't mean that everything is just going to go run perfectly um the thing about bias is that it goes both ways and you can have a bias for people that you like and they can uh get more grace and trust than they deserve and so <clears throat> as it's our job as American people to be very discerning and observant of what our government is doing, uh, whoever's in office. So there's that. But we are the pioneers. We're the change. We're supposed to make things happen. We create the trends, right? And, you know, even when you feel like something is just... Like you wanna do something, but you're apprehensive about it, you should still do it anyways. Just try because showing up is just, showing up is half the battle. And not every day is gonna be a good day. Not every day is gonna be smooth. Not every day is gonna feel great. Not every day you're gonna get all the sleep you needed. And that is okay. We have to move forward in being the country that is full of leaders and sometimes leadership it doesn't always look like you being the perfect person it sometimes it looks like you picking yourself up after a really rough ride and you know just making the best of things even when it it seems kind of grim But on a lighter note, we have the ability to take advantage of so many different things that so many tools that we have access, so many things that we have been granted that allows us to have the freedom, that allows us to have the monetary uh, tools to create a better life for ourselves and for our families. And so, you know, this engine has to keep moving and you have to keep moving and we have to keep trying and we have to keep doing and we have to keep holding the people who have been entrusted with our lives we have to keep them in check and you know i just want to say that i know a lot of people are so excited about this trump winning and that's great. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad, you know, that's all over with. But at the end of the day, there are still things that 
have never been addressed that may that that have not been addressed right and in so many years and they there's still some pioneering to get done and i just want us to realize that and you know really it's just about not getting complacent you know you know you still our responsibility to take charge of what's how our government is moving in the direction that it's moving and flowing in and so you know speak out when you feel you need to speak out talk about things when you feel like you need to talk about things and you know i just i'm just glad that you know things are moving in, in a good direction personally if you want to get my personal opinion it's not necessarily about her kamala being a democrat i just felt like it would have been i just didn't feel like she actually even wanted to be president number one i don't even think she actually wanted to do it and number two i i just think that it would have not been the right time to have the first female president because she just it, it, she just wasn't she wasn't for it all right and you know i understand and people have their opinions and all that stuff and i really you know have no no animosity towards her at all in my heart but i just don't believe that she would have been the right choice to represent the american people um as the first female president for our country so you know there's that um but that's just on a personal note you know and <clears throat> you know that's a, that's the beauty of this country i can have an opinion and so um i will and i will i will say my opinion i'll say how i feel and you know i that's that's just it and you know you should too so i appreciate you guys for watching i um you know, I, I hope things can move in a, a better direction. I really praying for those gas prices to go down fairly soon. Um, we can all have a lot more money in our pockets. Maybe, uh, you know, probably not before Christmas, unfortunately, but you know, it, I'm, that's what I'm hoping for, you know, at least, at least we can get uh two, $3 gas again. So, <laughs> Anyways, um, this is en route and I'm out.